hey guys, brackets come up a lot in chemistry, so here is how you deal with them. It can seem really, really hard, can seem really, really impossible. Once you get here around it, it's fine. So here we have magnesium. and we have one magnesium. Now this two outside means there's two of everything inside. So we have two oxygens and two hydrogens. So we have three elements and we have five atoms. Here we have aluminium and we have one of those. Now this three means everything inside is times by three. So we have nitrogen and we have three of those and we have oxygen. Now we already had three of those and then we had three lots of three. Three lots of three gives us nine oxygens. So we have three elements and 13 atoms. Here we have two of everything inside the brackets. So we have nitrogen and we have two of those. We have hydrogen and we have four times two of those, giving us eight hydrogens. We have sulfur and we have one of those and we have oxygen and we have four of those. So we have four elements and we have two um, plus eight plus one plus four giving us 15 atoms. Here we have calcium times one, two times everything inside the brackets. So that's oxygen times two, hydrogen times two, giving us three elements and five atoms. Here we have one lot of copper, two times everything inside. So nitrogen times two, oxygen three times two gives us six. So we have three elements and we have nine atoms. Okay, we have two chromiums, three times everything inside so that means we have three sulfurs and oxygen is four times three giving us 12 so we have three elements and we have two plus three plus 12 giving us 17 atoms last one here iron times two three times everything inside. So that is sulfur times three. Oxygen is uh, 12 again. So we have three elements and we have 17, two plus three plus 12 atoms.